Hi right, guys, be talking about arrays. <coughs> um, so arrays, they're just another library of containing data, and you have different data types, as you can see below. You have byte short, long float, double boolean char, and string. And when you're counting in arrays, you're going to be counting from zero, not from one, because that's how a computer thinks. Um, and these are your indexes, and these are your elements, element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And arrays come in handy because if you want to put in, like, say, a street address, your first name, last name, whatever. And so, we're going to be starting off with how you can make an array. Array equals new. And be uh, 10 in here. That just makes it 10 cells. Alright. 10 empty cells in an array. Or you can do this array 2 equals, and you want to put in specific numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And these are curly braces, by the way. You need this if you actually want to put in real data. Okay. <clears throat> and you want to print this out. Well, you can use a for loop, so you can loop through the entire array. And you have something called dot length. This is a method in the array class. And this is just returning a length with the array, this being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's not going to go out of bounds because it's going to stop at 4 because length of it is 5. So you want to keep on printing out the all the elements in this until it's all done. Then you just do this. Ray 2 at position x. So if you go to 0, it'd be print out 0, go to 1, print out 1, go to 2, print out 2, go to 3, print out 3, go to 4, print out 4. And if you have more, keep on going until it's done. So let's. Sorry about that. Forgot that was from C++ where you had to have the parentheses. Whoops, I forgot my zero. Alright, that should work. So it's going to print out zero, one, two, three, four. Um, Alright, so let's do another one. Let's do parallel arrays. So when you have parallel arrays, they have to be um, the same amount of elements, so something similar that you actually use probably in the future would be like you have a string array of first names. And let's just say Tom, Mary, Julie. And you have your second array, last names, two, Mary, Cole, I don't know, and Julie. Alright, so that's your parallel array. Um, now, if you want to pair these together, um, you just use a for loop again, since they're the same length, you can use x. You can use x again if you want to, because this can be out of the scope anyway, right here. But not to confuse you guys, you always use y. Let's then Wow. 
plus. And we're to do system dot the print line. And let's put these together. So we do f names at y at a space. Oops, space plus last names at y. And this should piece them together. So you actually have a full name now. keep on doing something wrong. Alright, so I found what's wrong. I was missing curly brace right up here. Alright, <clears throat> so if we run this now, it should pair them together. Tom, Drew, Mary Cole, and Julie Wynn. And that's basically it for Ray's. Um, you can go into a little bit more detail if you wanted to do like something like multi-dimensional arrays, but in this class you don't really need to do that. Um, we just go through the basics of what an array is, and you just need to know what a parallel array is. Um, it's just two arrays of the same amount of elements that run parallel to each other that actually have a correlation with one another. In this case, first names and last names. Uh, other ones could be a list of zip codes and a list of street names and you put those together and you get an address uh, but we're not going to go into that in much detail because once you get the basic concept of what an array is then you can pretty much go from there and there's many other different uh, methods you can access using an array class um, those ones, I say just read up on them if you want to use them. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it for arrays. I hope this has been a little helpful in clearing up some misunderstanding about how to count using arrays. And I hope you guys go on to do great things. Have a good one.